so this is it i've got one more long run before the marathon itself so in a week's time just over a week's time i have to run 32 kilometers my last long run if you remember was my 28k that i just ran uh, this weekend gone um and that was really really hard and what i found like when i finished there were parts of me hurting that haven't ever hurt before it's like my back was sore and my knees were sore and just bits of my body that i hadn't thought to warm up i suppose or stretch out because i just didn't you know these are bits that have never hurt before and i've run um so that was quite an interesting thing to learn and uh, i was very very sore the next day but luckily i was okay on tuesday so that is a good thing a bad thing is that my ankle is injured um, and this is a really old injury in my um, my right ankle basically when I was a teenager I kind of went over on it and there's kind of differing views on whether I actually tore a ligament or not but it's it's always been a bit weak and a few weeks ago when I was running it just started hurting almost like a twisted ankle didn't really hurt that much but it was just like oh that just feels a little bit sore it's not swollen or red there's nothing kind of scary going on i think it's just that old injury is being aggravated so today i am supposed to run 12 kilometers and 12 kilometers again on sunday um i am going to try and warm up very thoroughly because i'm a little bit worried about this ankle thing it's so difficult because you've got to find a balance between resting so that your injury gets better and but but if you're resting then you're giving up runs um which is making me quite worried like i'm quite concerned now about the marathon especially with how hard that other run was and i don't really want to start missing out on training like runs because i'm just gonna feel awful when it comes to marathon day um but yeah, I'll, I'll just take it slow today and kind of see how I go. I'm wearing my little refuge top again today because I need to try and get used to wearing this as this is what I'll be wearing on the actual marathon day. Um, if you haven't sponsored me yet, um, I have a link in the description box below. I have to get to £2,000 for refuge. And just as of today, we got halfway there, um, which is amazing. So if you would like to give me a little um, donation towards a very good cause, that would be amazing. So I'm going to get warmed up and I will let you know how it's gone when I get back. Hopefully very well. Let's see. Oh my god. We have actual success. I think success. So um, that was okay. I ran the 12k, I ran the full 12k and I did it in a fast time which is about 30 seconds per kilometre faster than the time I want to do the marathon in. Um, so that was all, that was all right. So here's my update. That evening, my ankle did feel completely fine. Um, and I felt like, wow, maybe running 12K is an antidote to my ankle injury. Um, but then in the following days, it did hurt. Not like loads, um, but enough. So I've just been resting it basically. And now it is the evening before my 32 kilometer run. Um, I have been trying to treat this as if this is a marathon because it's a pretty long distance. I was talking to someone at work um, yesterday who's done a lot of marathons and his advice was to me was just to eat loads, um, which is a training regime that I can get on board with. So I've eaten a load today um, and he said have a really big breakfast, obviously like with enough time for your food to go down, but just eat a lot and make sure you're like you're really hydrated. So I've been drinking loads of water, um, just kind of in advance of the run tomorrow. And what I'm gonna do this evening is have a bath. I did this before my 28 kilometer run and I thought this was really good. So I had a kind of a bath in the evening just to warm up all my muscles. And then I stretched and rolled everything out afterwards just before going to bed. And I feel like that was a really relaxing way to kind of prepare my body for sleep and for exercise the next day. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm kind of hoping that I can do this better than the previous run which will make me feel more confident about the actual marathon. Um, let's see how I feel tomorrow morning. Good morning, it is half past seven and uh, I'm just about to start getting ready for my run. I ate my breakfast at about kind of 6.45. Um, so I've just kind of been letting it go down. I do feel incredibly full from my breakfast and from all the food I was eating last night, in hindsight, maybe eating my body weight in cheese wasn't the best plan. So I've been spending the first hour of my 
preparation pre-warm-up kind of plan just kind of getting myself ready and eating and having water and things and now i'm going to start doing my actual warm-ups i do kind of two warm-ups these are not like athletic like professional sports terms these are just things that i have in my head this is how i think about my own warm-up so normally what i do is a like a slow warm-up or a low level warm-up which will be like yoga based things and trying to stretch and warm up all the little muscles like in my feet and in my joints um just to kind of get my body really supple and ready and then just before i'm actually ready to run that's what i would call a fast warm-up which is where you're actually getting your heart rate up and you know jumping up and down and i'll go for a little run on my roof so those are the two things i do that have been working for me um that's my kind of three hour countdown um, and i'm hoping it's going to work as well for the actual marathon that i'll be able to eat my breakfast and then do my my slow warm-up before leaving um, and then do my fast warm up when I'm actually at the venue at the start line, um, which is when everyone else will be like really warming up just before going as well. So I think this is going to work out. Okay, it's quarter past eight, so I've got about an hour and 15 minutes to go. I am having water, I am having coffee, and a little energy bar thing. So I'm gonna eat these and then let them go down, like give it in sort of 40 minutes to an hour to go down before I do my um, hot warm up. And then while I'm letting my food go down, I'm going to prepare some of my post-workout food so my recovery food i bought loads of like bars like i really like these cliff bars they're really tasty but they also do like protein <laughs> protein bars so i got some of those and they look hilarious they're like macho man on the front like bodybuilders proteins so i'm gonna eat one of those after my run see how that goes i'm also gonna make myself some tuna um tuna mayonnaise sandwich make sure it's ready for me so as soon as i come back from the run i can just go It's 8.54, so we are just about nearly ready to leave. Well, in half an hour, I'm gonna start warming up in a little bit. I've got my food ready, got my tuna ready to go, my wine gums ready to eat. This is my <laughs> my builder's protein I'm gonna eat afterwards. These are like my recovery foods. I've got my two Lucozades. I'm gonna take one with me um, when I leave on the run and then I'm gonna leave one here. So what I'm gonna do is do two loops of 16 kilometers. So I'm gonna come back and ring the doorbell. <laughs> so hopefully Will will come down and bring me my second bottle of LucasAge. So I've got these shots because they taste like cola bottles apparently. I mean, they're not, I have tried them. They're not quite cola bottles. They're like a little bit more chemically, <laughs> which is worrying than a cola bottle. But what I enjoy about these is that they have a caffeine shot in them. And I think that will really help, kind of as well as the wine gums. I don't want to have too much caffeine, but I think this might be useful. Um, but when I ordered them online, I thought that these were quite small bags because it's got a picture of two of them on the front. For some reason, I just thought, oh, there will only be two. And um, the only thing that I could buy online was like a massive pack of them. So <laughs> I have 16. <laughs> so if anyone wants to buy any power bar, shots or whatever it's like i can set up shop i didn't realize it'd be so big i th i did know i was getting 16 i mean i'm not that stupid but i kind of thought it'd be 16 really small things um so that's not the case i'm gonna take one of these with me as well so at least i know i won't go hungry that's a good plan i'm getting a little bit nervous not of the run i mean nervous just because i know it's going to be painful and my legs gonna hurt and that's not a thing that anybody really wants to do to themselves but I'm also a little bit worried about the weather because it's actually really nice out there now it's quite sunny but also cool but it's gonna rain this afternoon but when nobody knows so considering I'm gonna be out between three and four hours I'm kind of a bit like I want to let my food go down but I also want to get out and run because I don't want to be wet <laughs> I really haven't thought about what to do if it rains that is a failing Right, 9.26 and I'm ready to go. I'm actually really pleased how I've stuck to my schedule and three hours has felt 
like quite a good amount of time to do all the things I need to do. My food has gone down, so that's very important. So I've got my Lucas Aid, I've got my phone, I've got my little bag of tricks, I've got my emergency bank card, I've got Will to help me halfway through. I guess I'll see you in three and a half hours. <laughs> How's it going? Just taking forever. <laughs> Just taking so long. But how is it going then? It's all right ish. It took me a while to warm up. But now I'm like in the In the zone? I'm in the zone now. Good. That's okay, but I'm worried about it roaming. Yeah. And my arm's chafing against me. Thanks for this. That's all right. That's good. You sound, you sound okay. You don't sound like you're too, too overworked or I'm, you're too. I'm only halfway through. Yeah, I know, but. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm okay. I'm actually hasn't had to have as many sweets as I normally do because I ate so much this morning. How many packets? <laughs> <laughs> I've got two with me, and I've just had like four or something. Only four wine gums or four I've packets. Got two, two wine gums and a little power bar thing. Nice. So, right, I better keep going. Yes. Good luck, love. Oh. See you in another 16 kilometres. <laughs> <sighs> Champion! <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, just 10 more kilometers to go. And oh, I don't know if I have anything enlightening to say other than that was really hard. And my legs were, my legs are, my muscles are really hurting. Oh my goodness, I don't know if you can see my phone, probably not. <laughs> I was looking at such a long route, <laughs> all up and down the river. Oh, and it started raining in the second, the second half. That was three hours and 14 minutes, apparently, 51 seconds. Okay, 3.15, let's give it, call it 3.15, according to my app. Um, so, that's really good. That's six minutes, four seconds per kilometre. <sighs> And I actually, I like, I feel, I feel dreadful, but I feel about as dreadful as I did after the 28K. So considering that's another four I've just done, that's, that's all right. That's a definite improvement. <laughs> just, I don't understand how I'm going to do 42. I've had such bad luck. Every long run I've done has been against the elements. There's either been snow or rain. It, like the 22nd of April better be like the sunniest day ever well not maybe no no not the sunniest day ever <laughs> it better just be cool cool and dry but with a bit of sun and lots of people cheering me on like i don't think that's too much to ask oh my god right i am going to stretch i'm gonna have a shower and then i'm gonna get in that ice bath my new best friend i'm gonna relax i've got no plans for the whole rest of the day this was my day i'm getting my ice bath on I have just sat in a cold bath, waiting for the water to rise up. I'm too much of a chicken just to get in a cold bath. So I've just kind of slowly acclimatized myself to it whilst shivering. Um, and now it's time to add the ice because cold water is not cold enough. So I'm gonna sit in here for, I guess, 20 minutes. I might read my book. I might go crazy. <laughs> Let's see. Either one of those two. So I'll sign off the vlog here. I guess the next time you see me, unless I do a video in between, which I may do, I may not do, or next time you see a video like this anyway, is probably going to be after the actual marathon, um, which is exciting and scary and weird. <laughs> but that means that the race that I've just run, that's the hardest thing I'm going to have to do until marathon day so i've just got three weeks of like tapering and uh just you know building my strength regaining my strength for the big day so i will see you then bye you only see what your eyes want to see you're frozen when your heart's not open